All right. Okay. So, Vikas, very good to meet you. And uh, I think this is the first time that we are meeting. So, let me start by giving you a quick introduction. And then you can also introduce yourself and then we can get started. Okay. Okay. Sure. All right. So, my name is Mopriya and I'm a soft skills trainer and a communication coach from Pune. I had been working in the corporate sector for the last 11 years and I'm a full-time trainer for the last five years. Currently, I'm working as a freelance coach and the best part about my job is that I get to meet interesting individuals like you and take you through your communication journey. So, uh, you know, whenever I get a little free time, I enjoy cooking, I love traveling and I spend a lot of time with my friends and family. And that's a little bit about me. If you have any questions, you can definitely ask. No, that's a that's an impressive background, I would say. Thank you. Why don't you introduce okay. yourself? So, sure, ma'am, uh, my name is Vikash Vikash Tapra. I come from a small city, Asansol in West Bengal. Uh, I am a postgraduate in commerce, and at present, I'm teaching in a government school, uh, particularly teaching in the primary section. As far my hobbies are concerned, I am like very good at uh, music. I would say. Mm -hmm. And I am trying to learn some musical instruments at present. Yeah, that's all good. Okay, perfect. So, Asansol, right. I am definitely aware of Asansol. So, if you have to describe your... Okay, before that, let me tell you how I generally conduct my sessions, okay? I do two mm -hmm. to three different activities, okay? And the main okay. aim of those activities is for you to speak as much as possible, Okay. And yes. then after every activity, we discuss feedback. Okay. So that's the pattern okay. that I follow. And these activities can range from, you know, describing certain things of your life, putting across your thoughts on certain topics, or it can be a storytelling activity. So that depends. Okay. All right. So okay. if I have to ask you that, um, if you have to describe Asansol to somebody who is mm -hmm. not aware of that place, how are you going to describe it? And you have to speak for minimum two to three minutes. If you speak for more than that, it is great. But minimum requirement is two to three minutes. Okay. So I am born and brought up in Asansol only. I belong to a Punjabi family, but uh, I am like very fortunate to be uh, living in West Bengal because I love the culture, the Bengali culture here, the food, everything. And Asansol has its own heritage. There are some, uh, I would say, uh, the ancestral uh, houses, buildings of uh, some uh, people who had uh, like great historical importance. I fail to uh, like uh, remember the names. I'm sorry about that. But uh, there are some uh, particular historical buildings here also and some temples and monuments even. Uh, it's a small city. Uh, not very crowded like the metropolitan cities and other cities, but it is also uh, getting influenced uh, by the other cities. Like it is also becoming crowded, but still there are places that you can find peace in Asansol. And uh, yes, the food, the food of West Bengal, you can, well, you can find those foods in, uh, in Asansol also. And uh, yeah, it is like the Bengali culture, music, dance uh folk music folk dance everything is here okay that was quite nice and you spoke about a wide range of uh you know topics and you spoke about how you feel so that was quite natural and the good thing mm -hmm. is i did not see too many grammatical errors in there nothing too significant okay so good job on that as well one thing that you must try doing is when you are having conversations because you're a teacher right you have to you know conduct classes and interact with students try and be a little more energetic and jolly when you are speaking have a smile on your yeah. face because that makes you more approachable okay yeah. and that is definitely one quality every teacher should have and should practice okay so from the next activity that we do try and be a little more expressive in you know how you say or how you speak okay all right no great problem. so for the next activity i'm going to give you a sentence okay and i want you to share your opinion on that sentence your experience or certain examples if you can 
again the priority being you speak on that topic for at least 2 to 3 minutes if you can speak for more than that it will be great okay 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 so your topic is um what is more important money or happiness and why both uh uh it can differ from a uh, person to person and uh, it can differ from like the situations people are put into money is uh, definitely important uh, when you are thinking about uh, getting the basic things that you want to have like food shelter and clothing but uh, anything excess of that uh, will ultimately bring sorrow because uh, your want like human wants cannot be satisfied uh, people crave a lot of things like apart from getting the basic necessities people want more like they want luxury they want everything and still they cannot find happiness but uh, i would say real happiness is a detachment from uh, all those worldly pleasures and relations everything uh, i also when i pray to god i always ask him to like since i am sent to this uh, place earth so i want everything i don't want to be a devoid of anything i want to have everything in my life but just i want detachment from all those things uh if uh, one day everything is lost if one day everything is lost uh i can start at zero uh, without any feeling of grief or sorrow so give me everything but uh, don't let me uh, get attached with any uh, worldly pleasures any material things any relationships and all yep okay all right um that made a lot of sense and it had uh, you know some impact on what you were trying to cover so good job there uh, again no no major grammatical error which is a good thing and that's a plus because you do not make too many grammatical errors that's a very very good thing to do um what you can focus on is you can you know start listening to a few podcasts right there are a lot of english podcasts that are there i'm not talking about hindi podcasts or indian podcasts i'm talking about mm-hmm. international podcasts which are on different topics it can be on health and wellness they can be on uh, financial planning it can be on leadership or it can be on life and relationships in general and that mm-hmm. will give you a lot more content to talk about right now how you are just talking about what you feel and you know just wrapping up within 2 minutes with more insights on a certain topic it will be easier for you to speak in general as well and with podcast it will give you more ways to express yourself more phrases more vocabulary so new words it will help you in getting to the advanced language uh, bracket okay so try and listen to podcast for at least 30 minutes a day it it will be very helpful for you Okay. Okay. Sure. Cool. Um, the next activity. Let us do a storytelling activity. Okay. So how we will do this activity is that I'm going to give you um, five words. Okay. And I want okay. you to make a story. Okay. Create a story using those five words in your story. Got it? Okay. so it should not be a story that you are narrating from your past it should be a story that you are creating on your own okay okay uh let me give you the words in the chat box Okay so here are your words in the chat box the little puppy the school principal the playground the old building and the car
Uh, can I take a moment? Sure, absolutely. Gather your thoughts and start whenever you're ready. Yes, I'm ready. You can start. Okay. Am I visible? Not able? Yes, yes, you are. But I'm not able to see myself. Hmm, I'm not sure. Maybe some technical glitch. I can see both yeah. of us clearly. Yeah. Okay. Uh there's a there was a small uh, school which was uh, near a small playground. Uh, and there was, there was a old building, old building uh, just beside the school. Uh, the school principal was uh, quite old and had a very kind heart. Uh, he used to see the kids playing in the playground and he was always uh, uh, willing to be like very patient and very uh, kind to everyone. Uh, one day he saw that uh, the kids were uh, like mistreating a small puppy, uh, which he used to live near the playground. And uh, he was not able to uh, help that puppy. So one day because he was actually he was uh, he was uh, having some medical issues, so he was not able to like come down on the playground. But one day he was not able to bear that or tolerate that uh, that cruelty of those kids towards that animal. So one day he decided to just go to the playground and teach them the lesson uh, without mistreating them. So he tried to help the small puppy, like he provides some medical aid to the puppy. Uh, Later on, he tried to explain the kids that you should realize your folly and this can happen to anyone. And we are all living beings, so we have to be kind and respectful with everyone, uh, be, it a, be it an animal or a person. Was I able to include all the words? Yes, you were able to include all the words, but was the story complete? I don't think so. Okay, can you complete it quickly? The uh, the kids realized their folly in the end after getting a lesson. Uh, like when uh, the same thing happens to a person, then only he realizes. So the kids also re also realized uh, their folly when they were also mistreated, and later on they were very uh, respectful towards everyone, and they actually built a house for that puppy, and tried to like feed that puppy at least twice a day. Okay, that's nice. See, it was you know it was a very random activity. I gave you very random words, and I'm happy to see that you were able to build a sensible story out of it which also has a morale so good job on that and there was there were no grammatical errors as well so good work there as well just that you know one thing i will keep telling you be a little yeah. more you know enthusiastic when you speak because your tone is extremely flat right so it's easy for people to just you know lose their attention when they are listening to you if there are no voice modulation when you speak Okay, so just so when I'm teaching, when I'm teaching in a class, mm -hmm. uh, my vo voice modulation is uh, like very student centric, and at that time I'm very expressive. I don't know what happens when I uh, get into conversations like this. I like I become right. very aware. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. why. But uh, I am very much expressive in my class because I'm dealing with like students of primary schools, and right. even uh, at the initial. Uh, level when I was teaching, when I started my career, I have been teaching like 
like i have dealt with all levels of uh, students like right from primary to the uh, like university also and my association with uh, education is very long it's around 20 plus years mm -hmm. but i don't know what happens when i get into conversation like i'm i'm trying to be uh, like uh, working i'm trying like i'm working my best like to overcome this thing only i'm getting this feedback from every tutor mm -hmm. i'm trying my best but if okay. you can like uh, give me some suggestions how can i like uh, so change first this? of all i think you are being very self conscious when you are during your yeah. sessions yes. you are being yes. very self conscious so something yes. that you need to work on first is to get rid of that self consciousness and treat this as a conversation don't treat this as a project if you treat these sessions as a project your tone and your you know uh, expressions would be the same way think of it as you are having a conversation with somebody how do you generally speak right and then yes. try to you know have those you know interactions with the tutors that probably if you change your mindset a little bit that probably is going to help you in showing that expression or the voice modulation that all the tutors are talking about so you know it's a little bit of a mindset game but i i am sure that someone with your kind of experience can definitely achieve it very quickly uh i would like to add one more point to this uh, like when i started uh, doing these conversations like i was on other applications also i have uh, done those conversations uh, i was very uh, expressive at that time i was very jolly at that time i did not uh, like take it as a conversations i was like uh, those are interactions and all i was just thinking like that so i was very expressive i used to post my videos on youtube also but later on i was like hit by something tragic in my life like my life went upside down so maybe they, they, it has impacted a lot and but that's why yes. i'm i'm trying to get it i'm like doing a lot of meditations and all i'm trying to mm -hmm. uh, get rid of those factors so i hope later on you will see something different from absolutely absolutely i'm maybe. hoping so i am definitely yeah. hoping that and you know mm -hmm. the good thing is you are aware of what the issue is and you are already yes. working on it so i am definitely yes. hopeful that you are going to overcome it yeah, yeah. thank you very much okay. you are most welcome vikas thank you so much for joining it was lovely interacting with you and i hope you have a wonderful day pleasure is mine thank you very much for those uh, like in insightful words welcome mm -hmm. have a great All day right. bye you too bye Bye.